Hi, this is Tom Blodgett from Agenda Industries, and today I've got a Agenda Reed Knife that came in for repair, and I'm going to show you uh, the disrepair it's in, and we're going to walk you through the sharpening process. All right, so on this knife, you can see it's come in. It's a little bit rusty, so we're going to give it a quick little spa treatment, get rid of some of these rust. We're not going to take out all the rust. We're going to just buff it and get rid of some of the surface rust here uh, before we sharpen. So you can see this is where the thumb goes. So the hands and the oils and everything here, again, a nice fingerprint of sorts. So not terrible, but you know, not the best either. So we'll just clean it up a little bit and make it pretty again. And then of course, sharpen it. The first step here is sometimes we'll just buff it first and that's usually enough to kind of make it pretty, but this has got some decent uh, rust on the surface here. It's not all the way through, but it's surface rust and anything that's brown or orange is definitely not good the black is fine that's just like a patina brown or orange on the metal is generally not good it means it's eating into the metal so we're going to use the scotch bright buffer here first to kind of clean that up again we're not trying to go and make it perfect again this is used it's going to be used in the same manner i expect it to come back again like that later but the best we can do is kind of just keep it reset it as best as possible here so first I'm just going to come in and give it a quick fresh skin So now a lot of that rust is dusty. All that rust is gone. Black spots are gone. So we've got a fresh surface here and we're just going to come and rebuff it here. So refreshed, cosmetic improvements, cleaned it up again. Uh, that buff actually adds a layer of protection. You see we've got a shine there now. It gives it a little bit of, of a polish. So now we'll actually begin the sharpening process. Next, what we're going to do is, uh, this is a right-handed knife. So I'm really just going to come and reset. Not always, we don't always need to do this on the belt, but I like to just make sure it's, if it's here, it's reset to like factory standard. So I'm going to come in and just do one side to thin out a little bit here on the belt. And the shadow's in the way here, I'm sorry. Uh, so we're just going to come in on one side and just kind of reset that, get a burr, then we'll take it over to the stones and finish it up. Okay, so, here. You see that? Bevel? so the bevel line is here and I've got a nice burr. So this is reset on this side. On this side, I'm not worried about because it's pretty flat anyway. If I've got a burr here, it should be fairly fast to get it on the other side. All right, so we take it to the stones. Our first stone is gonna be a 600 stone here to clean up the belt. Uh, and the process here is the same. Uh, I'm gonna go through, we usually use the dime nickel method, which is in our book, the Agenda, uh, Agenda Book of Sharpening. And I'll put a link in the description. So uh, for the first step, what we're gonna do is just clean up what we've done with the belt. So we put the knife on the lip of a single coin and that's our raised angle. So this is the lower angle and then a double coin would be the, raised, the higher angle or the nickel angle in the book. So just for quick reference. So, okay, we're gonna start with our low angle, forward and backward in a W pattern. Okay, and that cleans everything up, you should feel that burr. And then we do the two coins and this would be the nickel angle or double the height of the initial so that's, again, that's our height there. So just for reference, and go from there. So lower angle, higher angle. Okay, burr should definitely be there now. There should be a facet along here as well. So we're gonna come back, uh, coming towards us. This is a right-handed knife, by the way. Coming towards us, that one angle, and again, a W pattern. So that low angle, the dime angle. and we just wipe it off at an angle okay on to the next all right so the remainder of the stones we do everything the same except our first uh, dime angle or our single ear coin does not need a burr in the first round here because we have the shape all we're going to do is color in the lines that we've made with the coarser grit stones there's a thousand grit 
and I'll just move up. We'll do a quick montage here. <laughs> Knife is now sharpened. So we'll go over and personalize the burr. All right, so I've got our agenda folding steel here. And the last step is personalization. So right-handed knife, we're gonna come in at the 12 o'clock position here. Let it come in, 12 o'clock position here. Pull it down, let it click in, and then finish here at about the one o'clock. That's it, it's ready to go. So our finished Do the shine. As usual, if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe over here and we'll put some extra videos for you on the top there for you to peruse at your free time. If you like sharpening, uh, please let us know if there's any questions about sharpening reed knives or any other sharpening in general. All right, thank you and look forward to seeing you at our next video.